Someone named Mary is entering. So this is where I have to sit right next to it. You won't be needed. Okay. Hey, hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to our June meeting for the East Oak Park Neighborhood Association. Hi to everyone on Zoom. See two of you. Um, we have a few light options that are uh, items to discuss, and then we'll have an open discussion about the year and what we'd like to see happen. What? Uh, First off, is there anyone who is new to our meeting tonight? No? Okay. <laughs> so we can skip past that. Um, there are also sign-up sheets. If you're not on the email list, holler at Sam. Sam would like that, I bet. Um, well, the sign-up sheets are over there. Oh, or they're over there. Um, <clears throat> if you're not getting an email. Yeah, if you're not getting the email, but I'm assuming most of you are, or all of you probably are. Um, also, if you want to work on the upcoming picnic, there's a sign up for that too. Last year, we had a really great group of people working together and many hands do make work and make for a bigger and better picnic. Um, so there's a sign up sheet over there or talk to someone, talk to me if you want. And then Peter, right for your part? I am. Uh, before we do that, I'd like, uh, I have, uh, I should have brought them all. I just couldn't get them in my backpack for uh, COVID home test. This is part of this Medicare scam. I, I keep getting these shipments of uh, these, which then they bill Medicare and my uh, insurance company. They also uh, charge me $1,200 twice. Not even charge me, they charge Medicare and my insurance company $1,200 two months running for some product uh, that you know I didn't, wasn't ordered, I don't use and never saw. So but if anybody would like these, I've got more. Uh, if we could make this, if, if you win the 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Tennis, if you want. So uh, our balance is $657, which is maybe more than we've ever had. And uh, Sam asked if I would do a breakdown for what our expenditures and uh, income was for last year's picnic. So we had $340 in donations and 50-50 raffle at the picnic raised 100. In my earphones. <laughs> more, I think. Speak up a little more? A little bit, yeah. And that's $516 income and <laughs> with expenditures of $170, which were uh, signs, ice, trailer, few incidentals. So we uh, then we wound up um, in the good with $346. Um, and of that, we donated $100 to Oak Park Youth Assistance. Uh, so any questions? So there are three dollars and quarters. <laughs> it was donated during the picnic. Some coinage. Oh. <laughs> Good response, Karen. <laughs> did you have a Chris a question, Crystal? I did. Um. So you we donated to youth assistance. Have we donated to um, Juneteenth? I know that they're still taking sponsorship for like $50, $100. We missed the $250, which would have been printed materials. Um, the Juneteenth event is the 18th. I think it would, it would bring more awareness to the meetings to get more people interested in coming. Mm -hmm. uh, are they, the Neighborhood Association, within the marketing that the city is doing? So it's a city event then for you too. Yes. Yeah. Okay, city. sorry. Back at the yeah. <laughs> Park, um, summer blast event. Okay. But Juneteenth, there's a Juneteenth committee. Um, that's a subcommittee. I'm actually on that subcommittee for the uh, Arts and Cultural Diversity Commission as a subcommittee for the Juneteenth event. And the Juneteenth event is happening during summer blast. <laughs> Her glass is a weekend event. Juneteenth is just that day before Juneteenth is Father's Day. 
things to talk about? Sure. Do you want to like... Okay. So, actually, okay. So I am involved in two events that I wanted to share. One is the Friends of the Oak Park Library is putting together the first that we know of Oak Park Cookbook. So we're really excited about this. We're asking for recipes that are your family's not just copied out of a recipe book, but um, your favorite family recipes to submit them. And of course, the more we get, the better it's going to be. We're hoping for 200 recipes, and I have a flyer here that you can pick up. There's also one online. And we are going to sell these as a fundraiser for the Friends of the Oak Park Library in November. So this will be great for the holiday, but we have not had anything like this that I know of, at least not in my 55 years. So we're looking for cultural, for diversity, for all different ethnic and religious and all different representations that represent who we are in Oak Park. So you can submit them, either drop it off at the Oak Park Library, or you can email it to us at oakparkcookbook at gmail.com. Easy peasy. Any questions for me on that? Okay. The next thing I wanted to talk about is Oak Park Youth Assistance is again having our big fundraiser, 4th of July, pancake breakfast and silent auction. We are super excited. We're hoping to make it the best one ever because the proceeds this year are going for creating a teen center. We've all talked about the issues with our teenagers after school, <laughs> around the library, community center, neighborhood, and how that's been an issue. Some people were reluctant to go to the library. We're trying to fix that. We've been working on plans all year since September. We are going to be ready to go in the fall. It's going to take some money because we're hiring staff. It's not run by volunteers. We are paying people to run it. And so we need to raise a lot of money. So we're having the um, silent auction and the pancake breakfast. I, am, I have here sign-up sheets. If you can sign up, there are three different slots, 7 to 9, which is basically set up. 9 to 11 is the breakfast. And 11 to 1 is going to be monitoring and hanging out with the uh, t-shirt sale that we're going to have again, spirit wear, um, the silent auction items, and cleaning up. We have to be out of there at 1 o'clock, out of the shelter. We're also looking for baskets, just wicker baskets or any kind of baskets that we can put prizes in. If you have some laying around your house and I know you'd love to declutter, let me know. You can either drop them off at City Hall, ask for Carla or contact me. You guys know how to find me, especially on Facebook, and I can get them from you. Also, if you have gifts to donate for the baskets, we would love that. Anything you have that's new that you haven't used, we have, we don't have a lot. Um, we do have some exciting things. One thing we're gonna have is a numbered lithograph, Disney, which is worth a lot of money. We're gonna be doing an auction with that. Um, but anything you have, if you have, brand new things you got as gifts and you're not using them, we will. So again, please contact me if you have anything to donate, we would love it. 100% of the money we raise goes to youth assistance. And I wanna stress, we don't pay for anybody at youth assistance. The county pays for our caseworker. That's all that's all it's paid. We are all volunteers. So all the money goes straight back to the kids, the programs, the activities, all to them. So thank you. Any questions? I'll be glad to answer. What programs are there currently? We have, uh, well, at the moment, we don't have anything. We have parent events. No, I was saying current. Anything. Well, currently school's winding down. Nothing over is coming. No camps, no. We do offer camp scholarships. People no. need to speak to our, our caseworker. Um, and they can certainly do that. 
we are looking at what else the needs are. We're going to talk to parents, talk to their caseworker. We're going to offer something in the summer, but we bring you this up. So we're going to look at what are the referrals coming in? What are the issues the students are having? Is it- um, I think it's not a case situation, not casework, because you're talking about casework, right? right. Almost <laughs> straight prevention before moving out, correct? We generally only provide for our case load students. Oh. We can do some bigger things like the teen center, but the majority of our money has to go to casework students, case load students, and families because that's how we get our funding. Through the case. The funding comes from the county and from the school. Right. right. Okay, and the city. It's tri funding. Right. Yeah, so the schools actually don't donate money, they donate the office for the sponsors. Right. Okay. No programs. We have not decided yet. Our board meeting is coming up, and we again will speak to our caseworkers, say, what are the needs you're seeing? How can we support what you're seeing? And we'll go from there. And how can anyone attend the meeting? We are not just having anyone come. People that are interested, we can meet with them along with our supervisor and assess what their interests are and how they might fit in. Um, we're not getting board members right now. This is not one of our times to add board members. So, yeah, right, we're not constantly adding. This is more than anything about the park youth assistance. And actually, I feel very informed. Yeah. Oh, we're still informed. Yeah, I'm just like, that's great. You're doing a great thing. Thank you. Um, from there, we turn to picnic, the hottest <laughs> item in the room. Um, um, right? Yeah. So, I have applied for the permit at City Hall for our picnic of July 22nd from 12 to 4. You want me to move? I want you to be closer so they can hear you. Let me um, disappear from the screen again, too. <laughs> Lori, they, they might not have been able to hear us, so I don't know. Can you hear us, Mark? Okay, here we go. So that was the primary bit of business that needed to get conducted in this last week and that happened. The first meeting of the committee will take place on the 8th of June and we'll move forward from there. But the, the main thing I wanted to discuss at this meeting has to do with the monies that were raised last year and what to do with it. Uh, what generally we have done in the past is we've taken those monies and just lined our pockets with it and <laughs> called it a day. <laughs> Oh, well, but that was that was after the fact. There was no designation prior to uh, the picnic as to this is how the funds will be used. Mm -hmm. And so I'm proposing that we do make a proposal right now that we we can we can split the net proceeds with an organization, an organization like Juneteenth or an organization like Oak Park Youth Assistance, or you had brought up a, a, a muralist who's been now been taken care of. I so believe I they've gotten their money, so there's no yeah. need. Yeah. So yeah. the first question, if we take this apart, is how does one feel about donating a portion of the proceeds to an organization? Is everybody comfortable with that? Yeah. Does anybody speak against that? Karen asked a question. Are you talking about a single organization or multiple organizations? That's a separate question. The <laughs> <laughs> question is, are we comfortable with sharing yeah. our money? Yeah. Yeah, I want to start with one. I want to try to break <laughs> it down as simply as I can so we can get to a conclusion. So we're comfortable with donating a portion of the proceeds. Now, should we donate all of the net proceeds? Should we donate, say, 50% of the net proceeds? 75% of the net proceeds, thoughts, discussion? Yes, ma'am. I say not all because we do need to fund our um, Yes. And you know, care for rain, you know, don't think that, you know, providing this goes on to that too. We don't want to drain our bank account for a minimum. Thank you. We have to reserve in case we never know what happens. So I just would opt out of donating all net proceeds. Mm -hmm. Well, and I'm talking about net proceeds. 
Not right, but not so gross proteins. What is the original um, bullet points for I think the point of the picket was to meet your neighbor's grandson for the Oak Park, East Oak Park, and there was a third one, Cat Park? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> So everything that reads So we all in agreement that we donate all the net proceeds, but we donate a portion of them. Anyone speaking against that? I'd say how much is the four? That's the next question. You got to break it down one piece at a time. We're not going to have a rainy day. This, we're sitting on way more money than we use for this. Big squirrel. Uh, <laughs> we don't need that. So the money after we pay for the picture. Right. Well, for the well, we're gonna lose money on the picnic. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to give all the money away, but let's just say you know, 50% or whatever number we pick is right. going to go. Generally, we've made small donations here and there. I know we donated to Marion. We so have we beat Pete down so that we're, we're, he, he wants to donate all the net proceeds. But <laughs> I'm hearing from the room that no, we donate a portion of the net proceeds. We also have like given money to we'll Lindsay for like flowers. Yeah, yeah. So the flowers, flowers for pictures. Lindsay. I think we should come up with the name. But that's not of... really expensive. I'm saying like flowers are just, okay. that was from the yeah, yeah. They were general fund. The general fund. All of it's the same, yeah. Okay, so we're going to donate a portion of the proceeds. Should that portion be 50%, 75% thoughts? Well, you know, how much? Means... How much is the 50, 20, 75? No one knows. It hasn't happened yet. That's what I mean. Oh, that's the current balance is 657. We're not talking about touching that. We're talking about oh, just from the money. Okay. <laughs> we have yeah. uh, $1,000. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's $346. Well, you know. That barely gets you a starter motor fixed anymore, right? So, like half of a starter. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think that's why. And if we didn't have that, we would if we gave that all away, we would have had uh, six hundred and eleven dollars. So it's not a, we're, I mean how much did the picnic cost we, though? It's all received by the system. But it didn't fund any how much did uh, program. And what it really said is this. Uh, organization cares about youth assistance. Mm -hmm. You should care about Juneteenth. You should uh, what, the flowers that Lindsay plants. So yeah. Many ways. It is, but it's a gesture with a little more than just a smile. <laughs> oh. It's got a little bit of weight to it. So I'm hearing that Peter seems to be saying we want a hefty portion of the net proceeds rather than a meager portion of it. For what it's worth to you. The June team that will be over by the time the picnic happens. Right. So, like, yeah. we're talking more about making a donation present day for that, because um, June team is that June would 19th. that would the have to be decided today. To proceed the net profit from the picnic. That's the what's on the table now. Correct. Correct. And we can pick, let's pick up that point separately. Okay. So it's like if we're billing it as a fundraiser for us and something else. Well, that's exactly the point. If we come to a conclusion, we would do that. We would say net proceeds would benefit Old Park Youth Assistance, and we would include that in marketing, which is why that decision needs to be made now. After the Juneteenth, we'll discuss that separately. So my question is, if I get your point of including it in marketing advertising, um, then you have to determine, is it just one organization or what you need to determine what, if there's more than one organization that will be benefited from these, or will you just, how will you, you know? We'll get there. Let's start with this question. Okay. We're going to have some proceeds. Yes. A portion of the proceeds are going to be net. Going to, they're going to be above expenses. What can we donate all or a portion of those proceeds? The answer is yes. 
where it goes. Let's hold that off for a sec. All right. Well, wait a minute. All right. I vote for 50. I say 50 50. I have a counter motion of 100% of the back proceeds. <clears throat> I, I said 50 50 too. I say 50%. Because then the money can go somewhere else in the fall. If there's another organization, we have the money to donate, you know, just like we do okay. occasionally through I the year. Seems like yeah. we're landing on 50% of the net proceeds. I think it's Any a fair discussion against it. I think it's a the fair number. I would say is we look after the picnic at what the net proceeds are and then say we will donate X amount too. But yeah. I guess on the advertising part of it, it that might spur someone to say, oh, they're doing good things. They're helping these people bring awareness to whatever the cause is. Um, so I see both sides of that. So uh, have we settled? We're going to do 50% of the proceeds and we're going to donate that. Let's take a vote. Okay, so Anybody speaking against that, raise Peter was, but he's withdrawn. Anybody speaking? Raise your it? hand if you want fifty percent. The net proceeds, net proceeds from the picnic. So any money raised, any money raised at the picnic, after we take out our expenses, we'll donate fifty percent to organization or organization A. TBD. What about Crystal's suggestion about GT? Let's hold that in advance. It's, oh, it's going to happen before the picnic. Yeah, That's why we're not voting so. now. Okay, so it seems like we're on board with 50% of the net proceeds from everybody who's here. That's the majority. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So the point that Jeffrey's raising that the Juneteenth event, could, Crystal, now could you speak to the Juneteenth event and and Plug away. Yeah, so Juneteenth, uh, the Juneteenth event is on Father's Day. It's the Sunday before Juneteenth, and it's a celebration. Is that June nineteenth. Yeah. Yes. The date would be the event is eighteenth. Yeah. June eighteenth is the Juneteenth event. The actual holiday is on the nineteenth. Uh, and so uh, there's a big celebration that's happening during Summer Blast. So Summer Blast is a weekend event, but Juneteenth is just that one day. There will be a fashion show, walk fashion show. There will be um, dancers, African dancers. There will be... There's going to be a walk in the morning. A walk in the morning, a walk a mile in my shoes. That will be happening all that morning. <clears throat> Very fun stuff. This is the uh, se second one that's been in person. First one was in stream. I mean, it was in... Uh, virtual oh. was in virtual virtual was mm -hmm. for the event yes it is so it's sponsored by the municipality uh, no it is the municipality sponsored by the commission um, recreation okay. department okay because it's a recreation event so maybe it's a recreation event the old park recreation event sponsored by the city of Oak. yeah so the Recreation department's got a good size budget. Come well, their budget. And that's why we're doing the event during the city blast, which is the so recreation we, event. Is there a need for funds? Well, yes, because the Juneteenth is a separate event that's happening within that event. So and the sponsorship is two fifty, one hundred, and fifty dollars. We actually missed the two fifty mark because we wouldn't be added in any of the printed materials. That would have been if we would cut the check two hundred and fifty dollars by May nineteenth. Then we would have been added to the magazine that's going out, um, and we would be on the website and on social media. Now with the hundred dollars, it's just a thank you and on the website and social media, and then fifty dollars. <laughs> Can I ask where would the money then go? <laughs> like is that a bad question? What's we report? yeah, like I mean what the, the to organize the entire event so we have um we have to get gift bags the swag bags that were given to the uh, guests water and snacks yeah the walk water mm -hmm. and snacks walk they also need to pay for the band we have a lot of bands that's gonna orchestra that's gonna be there but the city's backs up the rest of the pay for it. no it's it's a it's an event within the event so juneteenth is its own committee that's putting on an event during a city event. 
The summer blast is almost like it's helping supplement it, right? Because they're already having events, summer things going on there, but it's still separate. Correct. From it. Correct. So, you know, the summer being a carnival they have and everything. Because I did the walk last year and I was in I was So, carnival is happening and everything. So, the, the city does have something <laughs> restrooms and things like that. But this event itself is separate from that. So, you take advantage of some of those things at a set up for some of that. But it's not it's two separate budgets. So are you saying the band will not be paid unless the money is raised this way to pay them? Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, you said city for or I mean the band. I mean, band. 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 So is all that already funded, I guess is what I'm saying. Is there funding for the band and for the swag bags and the water and those things? Are we raising money for them? Yes, absolutely. So is it already provided? Have you already raised enough money for that? Um, I believe so. I, I missed the last meeting, so I'm not sure what the budget is, but how much money is in the pot, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I can't answer that. But I know we're raising money all the way up to the day. There's, there's... Uh, you know, um, <laughs> I think most of us talk about what we love about the city. We almost always say one of the things we love about it is its diversity. Well, you know, I think our group would do well support an mm -hmm. event like that because as I said about some of the other stuff it's not it's, it's not like the band's going to uh, appear or a better band or you're not going to be able to appear it shows that we care about the event itself and I think that's an important gesture on our part mm -hmm. so I could say 100 bucks um, 100 bucks we'll get it on that yeah. Yeah. All, motion right now. all in favor, yeah. raise your hand. Make sure that we're talking about the same thing. So we're talking about yes. a, a donation to the Juneteenth Committee, completely separate from the picnic, having nothing to do with the picnic and its proceeds, but from our general fund, we make a donation of $100 to the Juneteenth Committee, and what we do with the picnic funds is yet to be decided. Yeah. Okay. okay, I just have a question. You mentioned earlier about sponsorship to get our name on the marketing chair. Is that only for the 250? Well, no, the 250. We missed the deadline. Yeah, 250. Okay, so, yeah. yeah. But if you donate $100, do we get included on any marketing? Yeah, so the 250 is for the magazine, for the printed material, the magazine, basically, and banners, signage around the event. Uh, the $100 will get us on the website and social media. And like a thank you. And then the $50 would just get us on the website and not social media. <laughs> so there, there's some details to be worked out to actually take this to fruition. But in the meantime, for the intent, are we all agreed to do that? Give the $100 to the Juneteenth program? Yeah. Sounds like we are. Okay, okay. good. So, Great, Crystal. Let's uh, uh, yeah. let's talk about the details of that. And how do we make that happen? Okay. Um, well, we just write a check. Uh, let's put that online. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. One more piece to this puzzle. Now, the proceeds from the picnic. We said half of the proceeds of the picnic are going to go to an organization, and I'm suggesting that organization be Oak Park Youth Assistance. Are we all good with that? Or do we, yes, ma'am. Raise your hands if you're all good with it. Well, first I want to be part. Yes, we are. Or, we does anyone it. have any other suggestions? Well, hey, maybe a, a specific program within youth assistance so that it's just not, oh, we're going to do this. Well, it's such a small amount of money. Yeah. It's, well, we don't know. It's half of our proceeds. Everyone, right? wait until this picnic. We, 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 <laughs> we've done this in the past. We're just talking about, you know. Right. $5,200 money. I can be earmarked for the June Center if that makes it more comfortable. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. okay. Is that what you said? So when the earmark is for the Teen Center. Teen Center. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That seems like a great cause. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what got me excited. Yeah, so it won't be because initially it was next door to this and next door to this. So <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> yeah, that's not a decision that anyone makes except for the administrator. And we're having it at Oak Park High School. The location of Oak Park High School is yet to be determined. It's only the administrator. It's going to the appeals process. Great. So that seems like that carries. So we can. Put that on our marketing materials. Mm -hmm. I, I think Thank that's you. the I think that's the end of my picnic business. All right. Unless you want to be on the planning committee well, and show up next Thursday. We've got a meeting planned for June the eighth. We will begin discussion of implementation at that meeting. Is okay. there a date chosen yet or no? So yeah, yes, July twenty second. Pick and and seven twenty two. And uh, you guys got the binoculars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the next item is more general discussion about looking back at this year and saying, what did we like? What what would you like to see different? Um, just suggestions, comments, questions. We have a core group of people who get together and try to plan these meetings to keep it informative of what's happening in the city and what can benefit us all. Um, so if anyone does have anything to say on that, we'd be happy to discuss it. Any people you'd like us to try to get in here to talk? Any topics you'd like us to try to tackle? Um, I think someone from the recycling committee would be a good guest at one point too. Sure. Yeah. Recycling committee, we're into it. Yeah. I'd like to have the public safety come back and let us know about crime stats in our area, if there's any trends that we should know about. I guess Sam. Or um, discussion on beautification, the park. You know, oh, the park helping out with the uh, with the flowers. And... Are you saying our group doing that versus the uh, the city, right? Like helping Lindsay and yes, whatnot beautify our neighborhood. She was saying she didn't want to do it anymore. So okay, well, we need to. Okay. Yeah, we need to kind of help her if she still wants to do that. And... Uh, Lindsay, by the way, I spoke to her. She called me and said that she'd had a really bad day, some issue with her cat, and uh, she said uh, there really isn't anything uh, left to do. Although, did she spread all of the mulch? Is it? No. I went by a big old pile. I don't think she. I, I think did she every year, it. Peter, and then somebody eventually. The city goes does over that, though, right? The rest of them. Okay. They, well, of course, she asked for it. Yeah. They dumped two yards and she only needed one yard and the rest just sits there until somebody else has it been spread by the no. gardens there no i don't know but the sun is back yeah new yeah. best park <laughs> sign is up it, it was, was falling apart. Peter, it's the best. Is there a box on sign? sign, yes, sign. Um, there was something, this is a little off topic, but yesterday the city had people from Nine Mile, this corridor study. They're looking at linking Hazel Park all the way down to 275 on Nine Mile, um, which Oak Park would be involved with that. And there's a survey about things. So there's flyers up here with a QR code that you can take those if you've not done that already. Um, Activity is very quick. Yes, and the event yesterday was really drawing on some things, saying what you liked and what you did not like. Mm -hmm. um, I know so. there was another survey about the library. Did everybody see that? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> they had a survey on the library. I didn't see it. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, I have something to share about that. Um, I was talking to Kimberly, the director, and she said actually, East Oak Park has the lowest amount of library card holders. In Oak Park. That's because they expire them after like a year or two. Yes, you got to go and renew them. on your birthday. Yes. <laughs> so but she was really, and I was surprised to hear that too because we read in this. So, 
Yeah, she wanted to. We're all going to go get library cards That's next week. Let's all, yeah, push for <laughs> library involvement for sure. Maybe she should come and speak. Yeah, I do. Again, for the new. She was not here this year. She was earlier or maybe late last year when she first got the job. But um, she could come back and talk about the programming for the fall. I'm going to meet with one of the um, people there about possibly doing some programming there. Sure. What about um, Senator McMorrow? Yes. He had to cancel. He didn't reach out to her, but there was a conflict with the date. But that's definitely on our radar. It's on our radar. Which, you know, the red flag was one of the ones that right. was on the deal. Right. We did reach, we, we did, she was supposed to be here today. Oh, today. But yeah. she there couldn't make conflict. the date. There was a conflict in her schedule, but we reached out to her two months ago. I made a mistake on the date. Mm -hmm. And then I talked to um, the gal that is her promotion yeah. schedule. Yeah. And um, she goes, well, she can't make it. Oh. And I, I didn't go on and ask her when she can come back. Mm -hmm. I mean, she could probably come back. Mm -hmm. I know there's probably a lot going on in the fall. We could invite her to a picnic too. Yes, we could do that. Mm -hmm. I have to would come. I'm organizing an event next Thursday. Next Thursday at the Ferndale High School, we're giving away trigger locks to all the parents. It's an hour event, and she's speaking there. Oh, okay. yeah. Awesome. Okay. That's the kind of stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the triggers and lock the trigger locks and to store it properly, and she's coming to speak about safety. I, I just wanted to get the, the event done before summer mm -hmm. happened. And her kids, she said she said, she, and she was willing. She called, I called, and she was, she was able to. Invite her to the picnic. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Granted, we're signing all of you up for that. No. Um, have, you want to? You can't walk away with it. Check. <laughs> Looking forward to speaking to Senator McMorrow because I don't understand what's going on with this administration. All of a sudden, this administration is taking on these Republican overtones where they go, Oh, we have too much money. We need to give them back to the taxpayer. That's the Republican philosophy. What happens to let's use our money to fix problems? But no, our governor and this administration says, No, let's give it back to the voters. I was wondering, I wanted to ask her that question. You can always write to her and ask her. Yeah, and I'd get some sort of form letter in response. I had an opportunity to speak to her well, in real time in person. I was looking forward to that. We'll you'll that you'll you. just have to figure it out. Go go to the gun lock event if you want. But yeah, Regina for sure. This is much. Oops. Sorry about that. Oh. We can beat Regina up another day. <laughs> Probably too much going on. Too much on here, probably. That's why. Sorry. It's put together by the organizers, but he has something like 3,000 members. There's roughly around 200 like kids that show up every Tuesday in the summer. They meet up at around 6 30 at the library parking lot and we go out at 7 and we ride around. Um, they have a, a predetermined route every week. Uh, it's right around eight miles. It basically takes us throughout the city. You know, we might start by the crossing. I did it, it went like that. I don't even like driving. So, <clears throat> like, I don't know if you remember Sandy, I haven't seen that in a while, but he's, he's in his car, right? He, uh, he'll, like, go ahead to, let's say, Oak Park Boulevard, and he's um, traffic, 
car while the driver is in the right car. That's culture? That's culture? Uh, not many people have complained. For the event. They're on their bikes and they're moving quite fast. Bicycles are supposed to follow the same rules as cars. They rode by my house. Yes, did. Yeah, well, I heard it off. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I did it once last year and it was wonderful. I, I know. I I was my plans got really screwed up on Tuesday. Does anyone else have any ideas as far as topics or people or whatnot? I know we're probably gonna be getting together in say August, but maybe not. Just to talk about the fall. <laughs> We, we at the steering meeting. Yes, not as a full group. Sorry, the, yeah. we'll resume regular meetings in September. Um, oh, any other topics we should bring to the meetings? Anybody know? And if you do think of something, not tonight, and yeah. want to throw it out us, email, Facebook, any of those things. Maybe like a town hall. Um, I know we have players. Maybe. All the people who are running for election for in November for November election. I'm trying to think of like what we um establish ground rules on the things I don't remember. Right? We need uh, to look at what we decided different. in the past that we would not do that. Um, we only have 10 meetings and they're short, we don't get a whole lot done. If we were to give them over to electioneering and getting to know all the candidates. That's all we would do. So we decided not to go that route all together. One of the questions I've been wondering oftentimes is it's just a very small point that has to do with your recycling thing. The soft road does not take plastic bags anymore. Yet, plastic bags, Sakura tells you to take plastic bags to the big box stores. Target takes them, Program. Home Depot yeah. takes them, Kroger takes them. Myers. And I say to myself, well, those stores seem to be able to do something with these plastic bags. Why can't the recycling authority, whose business it is, do something with plastic bags? Are the big box stores just taking those bags and throwing them in the garbage can? Are they actually doing anything with them? I wonder. You need to call them and ask. <laughs> well, I'm sure they would tell me that they're just throwing. We're not going to have the answers. <laughs> I know it's a rhetorical. <laughs> but mentioning the recycling commission, or maybe even having some from soccer come, would not be terrible. That that might be. Um, way I know up, that yeah. soccer is pretty good about telling you this, that, like, yes, good, no, bad. They have those raccoons that are showing you what to put where. <laughs> I've tried to get soccer to come and without success. Mm -hmm. Mm. But we can keep trying. I have a contact on the recycling commission. Okay. Galen. And that's a municipal recycling committee. Oh, it's the city. It's so far. It's the city. We have. Oh, that might be that's nice. Amazing. That sounds better. One thing I would like us to see in the fall is to come back to their little pocket park for like hangouts. Yeah. I know we didn't do anything this year, but you know what? Yeah. Next year is a whole new year. Cider, um, Cider and fall. donuts, Sam, or um, what was the sandwich place we got? From? Oh, we got Ernie. Ernie. Yeah. Yes, he loves you, baby. Loves everybody, <laughs> baby. <laughs> That's something. In, yeah, let's talk, talk about, about that, that too. Like cool weather would be nice for that. Mm -hmm. um, even with the two sun shells at Seneca, it still was very warm last night there. <laughs> it was, absolutely. 
Totally. And we have a 50 50 raffle. Is everybody in who wants to be in? Well, <laughs> I didn't give any money. Oh. <laughs> I actually have my wallet this time. And I owe Peter some money, too. <laughs> Am I going? Yeah. Hundreds of dollars. So what's the deal on the tickets? Five or how many for five bucks? Come on over one here. One or six for five. I get it. Well, one or six or whatever I get for five. Well, I'm hearing the production of Ragtime at the Repertory Theater from June 9th through the 25th. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. yeah. My calendar is completely empty. <laughs> that, for that. Per performance. But... It's had a very busy last three months, which is good, but also it's nice to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There is a garden that you can do. There's a lot of laundry. Oh, Josh. Yeah, well, I know I can't drive. Draw yeah. because I have to walk to Oh, that wouldn't look good. Right, right. Was he there yesterday or? Oh, yeah. No, I'm assuming these came from that event. I brought them. Yeah. yeah. There were people from the. I was, but like I was the there theater. for the city. Like the designer people? They weren't from. They weren't from the city. They were hired by the city to create the format. For they had like an illustration of what the different bike lanes and the way nine miles switch and whatnot, all the way from 275 to. They're like, yeah, they're like, like the designer. Which is crazy that engineer. you can ride your bicycle from uh, Houston. My husband. Oh. He just mentioned that I think this brawl will be even more fair because when I was taking him up at first, I know he called it sticking together. Probably black than ever was. Thank you, Thank Karen. You. <laughs> Reading the last. Sure. Zero seven six. Still not me. Okay. <laughs> Big winner. <laughs> <laughs> Share, I need to know how much is this cost. Yeah. Probably one, one, two, five, ten. As opposed to what, quarters? No, but it's not the money that gave you the Yeah, I can get $40 a week. You can get $40 a week. Yeah, I'll see you. So we're baked. Yeah, I think we're good. Right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, everyone, thanks does, for coming tonight. Well, or oh, does anyone we from any questions or anything? Anything from the here? Zoom participants? Any questions? Thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> so, and we're looking for being patient with us figuring out the best way to do this in both capacities. But yeah. I feel like this is went smoother yeah. than I expected to. Um, we'll figure this out because we have it. So hopefully we'll see you in at the picnic. Great. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care, Lori. Oh, you too. So I'm going to stop the recording.